Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 11th of October. PM Modi concludes his Laos visit arrives back in India. China in talks with Pakistan to protect safety and security of its nationals after blast killed four. And India expresses concern over reported theft of religious article from temple in Bangladesh. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday returned back to India after concluding his two-day visit to the Southeast Asian nation. He participated in the 21st ASEAN, India and the 19th East Asia summits and held meetings with Laos Prime Minister and leaders from Thailand and New Zealand. He also met with other top leaders like South Korean President Yoon So Kyol and the newly elected Japanese Prime Minister Shirugu Ishiba. At the 19th East Asia Summit on Friday, PM Modi said this is not the era of war and highlighted that dialogue and diplomacy need to be given priority. He said that conflicts in different parts of the world are having most negative impact on countries of global south and it is necessary to respect sovereignty, territorial integrity, international laws. The summit is part of the 10-member Association of Southeast Asian Nations meeting and was hosted by Laos this year. Days after two Chinese nationals were killed in a blast near Pakistan airport, China's foreign ministry on Thursday said that it would work with Pakistani authorities to protect the safety and security of Chinese personnel, projects and institutions in the country. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning at a regular news briefing said she was not aware of reports that Pakistani authorities are seeking to curb movements of Chinese citizens during the Shanghai Cooperation Organization meeting next week because of a security risk from militant groups targeting them. Baloch Liberation Army has claimed responsibility for the explosion, stating that it was aimed at a convoy of Chinese engineers using a vehicle-borne improvised explosive device. India on Friday expressed deep concern by the reported incident of theft of a religious article from a temple in Bangladesh and has urged Bangladesh law enforcement authorities to investigate the matter and bring the guilty to book. A crown of the Hindu goddess Kali, which has been gifted by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Bangladesh, has been stolen from the Jeshoreshwari temple. Indian High Commission in a post on X has condemned the incident and urged the government of Bangladesh to recover the crown. Reports have suggested that the Hindu community has been facing attacks since August, when Sheikh Hasina resigned as Prime Minister following massive violent protests. Their residence, temples and endowments were targeted throughout the country with reports of rape, arson, looting, forced land crafts, threat to life and coercion to flee the country. Afghanistan's acting UN representative Nasir Ahmed Faik on Thursday said that the country's request to restore its voting rights has been denied due to political considerations by some regional countries. Afghanistan's voting rights were suspended at the start of 2024, I would like particularly to in February and March, to due to unpaid membership fees. Members, uh, Afghanistan owes around $1 million to the UN. Fake raised the issue of restoring Afghanistan's voting rights at the 84th session of the UN Contributions Committee. He hoped Afghanistan would be temporarily exempt from paying its dues due to its current situation. However, Opposition from certain committee members led to the rejection of the request. China, Russia and Iran maintain close relations with the Taliban and support their stance in international meetings 
and organizations. Nepal's former Prime Minister and opposition CPN Maoist Centre Party Chief Pushpakamal Dehel on Thursday launched a broadside against the Nepali Congress, CPN UML and former monarch all at once, stating that the formation of the government by the two largest parties show the country is heading towards a political crisis. Dehel, who was unseated by CPN UML Chairman KP Oli in July, has been consistently attacking the CPN UML. The CPN UML withdrew support to Dehel's government in the second week of July and formed a new political alliance with the Nepali Congress, which has irked Dehel's ever since. Dehel has repeatedly blamed external and domestic forces for the fall of his government, and sometimes he claims that his anti corruption drive was the reason behind its collapse. This is probably the first time Dehel has made such a serious allegation against the UML. Taking a jibe at Oli, Dehel claimed that Oli's repeated attempts to dissolve the parliament was part of a plan to undo the constitution, referring to Oli's dissolution of the parliament twice during his earlier term from 2018 to 2022. As Gujarat celebrates Vikas Sapta, marking 23 years of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's policy-driven governance, the Siddhi community in the state with African ancestry have been provided various government benefits such as scholarships, job reservations and financial assistance. A report. पानी की तो कोई समस्या नहीं है बिजली की भी कोई समस्या नहीं है ये सरकार से हम लोग बहुत खुश हैं द सिद्धि कम्युनिटी इन गुजरात इज अ यूनिक एथनिक ग्रुप विद अफ्रीकन एंसेस्ट्री सेटल्ड इन द रीजंस ऑफ जूनागढ़ एंड गिर सोमनाथ डिस्पाइट देयर रिच कल्चरल हेरिटेज द सिद्धि कम्युनिटी अर्लियर फेस्ड सोशल इकोनॉमिक चैलेंजेस इन 2003 द सिद्धीज वर ऑफिशियली रिकॉग्नाइज्ड एज अ शेड्यूल्ड ट्राइब इन गुजरात making them eligible for various government benefits such as scholarships, job reservations and financial assistance. The government's targeted efforts to integrate the community into mainstream development reflect its commitment to inclusive growth. आवास योजना का लाभ मिल चुका है और प्रधानमंत्री जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना है उसके तहत भी लगभग 80 परसेंट लोगों का बीमा भी हो चुका है प्रधानमंत्री सुरक्षा बीमा योजना है वो भी लगभग 19 परसेंट लोगों का हो गया है सरकार के तरफ से मकान की सहाय भी मिलती है और बच्चे को पढ़ाई के लिए भी मिलती है और जो आगे जाने के लिए जो थोड़ा सा खर्चा करना पड़ता है तो वो भी सरकार देते तो है पानी की तो कोई समस्या नहीं है बिजली की भी कोई समस्या नहीं है ये सरकार से हम लोग बहुत खुश है as Gujarat celebrates Vikas Sapta to commemorate 23 years of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's leadership, one of the standout programs initiated under his tenure as Chief Minister, the Van Bandhu Kalyan Yojana, has become a cornerstone for the development of Gujarat's tribal communities. Launched in 2007, the scheme's 10-point program focuses on comprehensive tribal development through employment generation quality education and infrastructure development. Today, nearly 15% of the state's budget is allocated to its tribal districts, reflecting a robust commitment to uplift Gujarat's 89.17 lakh tribal population. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.